Okay, so your computer either freezes or restarts randomly or does a combination of both. First thing you're gonna do is do like I just did, click on File Explorer, and we're going to go down to this PC and right click, show more options, and then we're gonna click on Manage so that we can go to your Windows logs. Because every time you have an error like this, Windows records it so you can look up more information on how to fix uh, whatever issue caused it to crash or freeze up. Now I'm going to click on Event Viewer, Windows Logs, and you can see the two places to check are Application and System. I would first check Application and then go to System after, but for the sake of this video we're just going to look at Application. So as you can see, it stores a bunch of information. What you would do is you would look for warnings or errors that happened at the exact time your crash or whatever occurred. So let's say it happened on March 2nd at 2.50 p.m. Uh, then you would click on that, if that was the time of your crash or freeze or restart, and it would, it's going to give you some information that you can look more into. For example, the event ID right here, you could uh, Google this or look it up, or if you, if you see over here, up above it, oh, sorry, down below, you can click on this event log online help. I don't find that as helpful as looking it up myself or Googling it myself. Uh, also, you can see in the description, it gives you some little information on um, what you can Google right here where it says, you know, program, version, blah, blah, blah. That's also really Google. Or if you get really desperate because you can't find the answer, you can always take a screenshot and post that in a forum uh, if you're not quite sure what to do with the information and, you know, because it varies from error to error. So next, I'm going to search for command prompt. And I'm going to right click, run as administrator, because now I'm going to look and see if there's a potential issue with my hard drive or solid state drive. Once command prompt opens up, uh, we're going to, oops, uh, ignore my little typo here. I'm going to back it up. You're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter and it will immediately start scanning your hard drive for any sort of issues, uh, bad sectors, things like that. Another thing you could look into is if you find perhaps your computer is getting hot, that could cause a crash. You could also look up a cooling pad. Uh, we have some down below, some good options. You can usually tell if there's an issue with overheating because your computer will be hot to the touch, especially if you tend to put, leave it on a blanket or a pillow or on your lap. Okay, so going back to the test to see the results, I'm going to close this down. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it completed. Uh, it did. It looks like I had some corrupted files. Except it successfully repaired them. If you did find your drive was having a problem and need to repla be replaced, we have a video in the description down below on how to replace a hard drive or solid state drive and reinstall Windows 11. So moving on, we're going to test your memory next. On your keyboard, you're going to select the Windows key and R at the same time. And then when this opens up, you're going to type in mdsched.exe and hit OK or Enter. And then this little box will open up. You're going to hit Restart Now and check for problems. It will then immediately restart your computer, so just be aware. So once the computer restarts, it will bring you to a screen like this and it will check my memory. Uh, you're going to want to it'll take a while. It will eventually give you a result. If you find your memory does not pass, well, then we have a video in the description down below that shows you how to test for which uh, RAM stick could have potentially gone bad. Uh, and that's in the description down below. And if it passed, well, then you might want to look into possibly resetting Windows to see if that would be a good thing to try next. But anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.